Hi you guys, this is your two-step test practice. It is for standard four O A three. Make sure that you use your math notebook to help you as a resource and pay attention to special hint words that remind you what operations you need to complete. Also, follow along with this video and check your work. So number one, Maria invited six friends over for a water balloon fight. She gave each friend seven water balloons. 28 of the balloons popped. How many were left? Bracket your question. How many were left? Maria invited six friends over for a water balloon fight. She gave each, special hint word, friend, seven water balloons and 28 of the balloons popped. How many were left? That tells me I need to possibly subtract. My first job is to find out how many balloons did they have. So I know that I need to multiply my groups times what's in each group to find my total. So I have six friends. Each friend has seven balloons. That tells me that I have a total of 42 balloons. That's my first step. My operation was multiplication. Make sure you write it over here. Next step, draw our line to separate our work and keep it neat. They had 42 balloons and 28 of the balloons popped. How many were left? So my next operation is subtraction. I had 42 balloons and 28 of the balloons popped. That means that I need to subtract and regroup. I have 14 balloons left. There were 14 balloons left. There's number one. Let's do number two. Number two. So in the first two games, I scored two points and four points. In the third game, I scored three times as many points as the first two games. How many points did I score in the third game? Back at your question. How many points did I score in the third game? In the first two games, I scored two points and four points. Probably going to add. In the third game, I scored three times as many points. Three times as many points as the first two games. How many points did I score in the third game? My first operation, I need to find out how many points I scored in the first two games. So I'm going to add. I had two points in the first game. Two first, four in the second. That means I had six points in the first and second game. Now I can find out how many points I scored in the third game because I know I scored three times, which tells me I'm going to multiply three times as many points in the first as the first two games. So something times something equals something. How many times goes first? I had three times as many games in the, I had three times as many points in the first in the third game as I did in the first two games. So that's the third game versus the first and second game. I had six points. Three times six, I had 18 points in the third game your sentence. I scored 18
in weights in the third game. Number three, Jake had four pencils. Kelly had six times as many as Jake. Kelly divided her pencils up equally into three bags. How many pencils did she have in each bag? Bracket question. How many pencils did she have in each bag? Jake had four pencils. Kelly had six times as many as Jake. Ooh, that means I'm gonna have six X, six times, which tells me I need to multiply. Kelly divided, whoop, doing some division, divided her pencils up equally into three bags. How many pencils did she have in each bag? Oh, that sounds like in each group right there. I need to think, if I know I'm dividing, I'm also going to be thinking about what could be my total and my groups. So keep that in mind. I need to know how many pencils did Kelly have before I can find out how many she had in each bag. I know that Kelly had six times as many as Jake and Jake had four pencils. My first operation is going to be multiplication. So something times something equals something. How many times goes first? Kelly had six times as many as Jake. Jake had four pencils. That tells me that Kelly had 24 pencils. Now I can find out what she did. Oh, 24 pencils. That's my total. And I know that she put them into three bags. Those are my groups. So total divided by the number of groups tells me how many's in each group. The total number of pencils was 24 pencils. Always include those labels. How many groups did she have? She put them in three bags. That tells me that there were eight pencils in each bag. Eight pencils. My second operation was division. And to answer the question, how many pencils did she have in each bag? Kelly had eight pencils in each bag. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow.